guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing awesome here's a quick video on how to do a set of nails that I did on myself and also how I actually pick up the bead and little tips and tricks on how I do it and how to apply forms so as always I always start by pushing back everyone's and myself's cuticles normally I would have to trim mine but I don't have my cuticle nippers yet I did order some so I'm waiting for those then I am just buffing out the natural shine. I'm putting my fingers sideways or just grabbing my hand in a position where I'm able to reach all sides and everything from my natural nail. And I'm showing you guys that it is not a, like harsh at all and it's at very low speed. This is a brush I use. It's the Young Nails Artistic Sculptor brush. I did write everything in the description below where I can you guys can purchase it. Normally, you can get it Young Nails, but if you can't, I did put an Amazon link below. So this is the Dappin dish and how I grab my beads. I always wet my acrylic from one side and then drag and basically clean off the other side of it. That's a wet, wet bead. I didn't clean anything whatsoever. As you can see right there, I grabbed a really, really wet bead, but you saw how I did it. I didn't wipe off part of the other side of the brush like right now. So I'm cleaning my brush with the, um, the monomer and then just grabbing a bead, pushing it towards me. It's kind of hard to explain, but you just kind of um, remove one side of the monomer of the brush then grab it with the wet side of it so my fingernails grow very different everyone's fingers are different and finger natural nails they grow differently so instead of me putting the form towards the way my nail grow I do it pointing up my teacher in school taught me how to do that and I like the way they come out when I form and sculpt my nails so you can see it's kind of like Slant it up instead of me going down because if not it's going to go down when I build the nail. I'm going to keep it up and then it's just going to create a good shape instead of going my natural form. There's so many ways you can fix and adhere, adjust your nail form just to your preference of course if you like it you like your natural nail then you'll do that if not then you can always do this what I did right now. I'm applying Bondade and Protein Bond as my prep and then I am applying my acrylic bead and I always start by the cuticle area and kind of push my acrylic into the cuticle area. Then I add another one in the free edge and drag it towards, kind of connect it you know, before it dries and then just drag it with my um, brush. I did get asked how do I keep my acrylic brush clean I'll show you guys in a little bit how I do that it's always about maintaining it wet don't ever let your acrylic brush super dry when you're applying um, acrylic and that's why when it comes to applying to a little monomer the nails start drying and it dries up their acrylic so right here I'm just sculpting the nails you can see it was flat first and then I added like a little um, or I added form to it see I kind of like push the acrylic towards my cuticle area. This is a self-leveling acrylic. It's a speed acrylic young nails. I like to use a speed one because it does dry a little quicker than the normal one and it's so much easier to work with. You don't have to, um, it's not gonna be running around or you know, runny on the nail form. So that's how I keep my acrylic brush clean. I grab it, the bead and then I kind of dry part of it if it's too wet and then I always just clean in between with my little wipe on the bottom and then just grab acrylic powder, well acrylic monomer and then dry it a little bit if it's too wet of a bead. So even if you grab a wet bead you don't have to just waste the product. You can always dry it like on the paper towel you have next to you. 
There's ways. There's a lot of ways, ladies. See, it's like I do scrub a little bit, and that's me normally behind the scenes with my acrylic brush and powder and monomer. Just always, I'm always like I always. You can't really see in the picture or camera, but it's like always like cleaning and in between. Whenever I feel like there's um, powder buildup in the brush, I always clean it with the monomer. And this is how they ended up. Of course, my left, my right hand is not that pretty, <laughs> but no worries, we have a file for that. And that was me being extra careful. So I do shape my nails with this 100-180 grit file, and I like using the forms because they already kind of shape it for me. Now I'm using my drill. I'm basically looking at all angles of the nail and I start off by the right side of the nail and then work my way around the cuticle area and then the middle portion of the nail always just touching and see how smooth if there's any you know dents or anything on the nails I always do the same thing basically I always work from right to left yeah in my perspective and then I shape and give it more form with my file If you guys have any questions, don't don't hesitate to ask. Right here, I'm using the Maroonscape. I love this color. It was so so nice. Um, unfortunately, it's a love hate relationship because when it comes to red or any kind of dark colors, I bought it in too close to the cuticle area, so it turned red and pink, and it's just a mess when it comes to working on yourself. Um, there's you know there's you can clean it up so there's no worries and this is gold hearted by perfect match it's kind of like a base coat that I always do when it comes to gold then this is gonna be my first coat of this maroon color it's so beautiful this is a first coat now I'm going on with my second coat, it's a little bit easier to apply only because you already have a base coat on there. Then I'm using the Kira Sky Pixie Dust to just give it a little glitter dots on there. This is the second coat of polish. Now I did take off the shine and the tacky kind of layer that it has when you do gel with acetone and I'm applying the foil glue. Meanwhile I apply and the foil glue dries, I'm going to be applying striping tape which I do have a link on the bottom on the description below for that and I for also for the scissors those little scissors and I did apply it by itself now I'm applying the foil in kind of like very little not like just the whole thing you know just little by little that way it won't add too much of the thing and I also add gel resin on my tape so it can adhere a lot better and also I'm gonna be adding crystals
I love this resin because it's a meal secret one there's a link below for that as well it just glues everything so so well and yes I do use a crayon for my crystals because of the waxy part of it it works perfectly fine for me I love it and I've always been using my crayon here's a close-up on the crystals and now I'm just applying Kira Sky Tack Free Gel Top Coat to my maroon colored nails. The foil one, I use a different one only because like I always say in my videos, I like to use different top coats. They're the same but just different bottles for different reasons. It's very simple guys. You guys know how I am. I'm very simple, so I just wanted a little just different design on my nails. And this is the final result, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on watching. Bye.